Hello and welcome to AWS Hands-On EC2 series. In this series, we'll be going over AWS EC2 service and try to understand some of its in-depth concepts. This will be a completely hands-on series, so we'll not be going over any PPTs or slides, although I'll be explaining you all the concepts as and when when we go over them. Okay, so let's just hop on to our AWS console. So this is what an AWS console looks like. Currently, I'm working out of North Virginia region. So if you don't know what a region is, don't worry, I'll be explaining it to you. In the services bar, we'll select EC2. EC2 is a short form for Elastic Compute Cloud. It is nothing but a cloud server, also called instance. Uh, what EC2 provides you is scalable computing capacity and it also eliminates the need to invest in up for upfront hardware costs. So that saves you a lot of money. So let's just go into running instances. So in this video, we'll be sh I'll be showing you how to launch an EC2 server. Okay. So to launch an EC2 server, just select launch instance. The first step will be to choose an Amazon machine image. So what is an Amazon machine image? Amazon machine image is nothing. It's just a pre-configured template of an operating system. So we'll be discussing AMI in details in further videos. But for now, it's, let's just select the first one. So the next step is to choose an instance type. So what is an instance type? Well, Amazon offers you different instance type for different kind of applications. So we'll be going over a lot of instance type in the further videos, but for now, you can understand them as segregated by the compute capacity. So for example, if you see T2 Nano has one virtual CPU, whereas when if you look at something like C5 Large, it has two virtual capacity, virtual CPUs. So that's the different, basic difference between instance types. They are Depend, they are different for different kinds of applications. Okay. So let's just move on. The next step is configure instance details. So number of instance, okay, we want only one instance to be launched. Request spot instances. So what are spot instances? We'll be discussing spot instances and other type of EC2 instances in the next video. Network, it asks you for a VPC. By default, AWS provides us a virtual private cloud. We'll have a separate section for VPC, so we not need not go into details of VPC right now. Same goes for the subnet. We'll not go into the details of subnet. We'll just select the default one. Auto assign public IP. Well, this is by default is enabled, so we'll just leave it enabled. I'll tell you why we need public IP. IAM roles. Well, let's not create or assign any IAM role right for now. Shutdown behavior is by default stop, but if you want to terminate, set it to terminate, you can set it to terminate. So what does shutdown behavior does is when you stop an instance, it will not stop it, it will terminate it. So by default it stop. Okay. Uh, advanced details. So here is the user data. So if you want to pass any shell script or any commands, which you want that at the boot time your instance should execute, you put that into user data. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Let's go. Yeah, the next step is to add storage. So for now, we'll just leave it 8 gigs of storage, which is the default non encrypted EBS volume. Just leave it to that. Add tags. Tags, well, tags are nothing, they're just the metadata for your instances. So for now, I'll not assign any tags. Security groups, well, security group is like firewall for your instance. Uh, it only allows uh, inbound rules and security group are by default uh, stateful. So if you allow inbound, the outbound is by default enabled. So let's add a couple of rules, let's add HTTP, let's add another rule for HTTPS. Now just go to review and launch. You see, you can review all the details which you've set in here. And let's select launch. It will ask you to create a key pair, which will be used to access your instance. So let's create a new key pair. Say my hands on 
let's download the key pair and launch the instance so you can see your instance is being launched here so it will take a couple of minutes for this instance to come up okay so the instance is running so to connect to this instance let's go to connect let's copy this complete string okay let's close it let's clear my screen let's put there you go you are in your EC2 instance if you see the IP so when we enabled public IP so Amazon has assigned us a public IP so let's try and do something with this let's try Let's keep an eye on our public IP and a private IP. Now let's do a stock instance. You see, and since it's stuck. take a couple of minutes to stop just like it takes a couple of minutes time just let's just keep our eyes on a private DNS and a public DNS Okay, the instance is stopped. So you see the private IP is still attached, but the public IP has gone. So let's now start it. See, the instance is running and our private public IP has changed. So this could be an interview question if you are planning to go for a job in AWS or a job related in cloud. What happens when you stop and start your instance? So your private IP remains the same, but your public IP changes. So let's just keep that in mind. Well, now you have a running instance. Uh, I'll be done with this lecture so for now it will be good. In the next uh, lecture we'll be going over deeper concepts with uh, EC2. So for now that's it from me. Have a good day. Bye.